Welcome back. It's been a minute. It has. A lot of work. A lot of work, yeah. Still doing lots of stuff. So I've had a bunch of really cool things happen lately. I've uploaded a few videos. We had the Republican convention up in Sacramento. I had the best time, the, the greatest time of my life. This convention was the best convention I've ever been to. I know a lot of people weren't too excited about that, but I've been to a few conventions, mostly nerd conventions like Fanime and whatnot. But I, I, I'm sorry, I really have to say, honestly, truly, I was very happy with this. And thank you to everybody who, who took part in making this a great thing for me, because it, it wouldn't have been half as fun if it weren't for for those those people I, I uh, met up with. And I'm glad that no one could ever take that away from me. It was wonderful. And it's too bad Mr. Gold had to work. At the event, we were, a lot of us were going for Travis Allen for the chairman and he lost. You're gonna see that in, in the video. I didn't get the exact video of, of when he lost, but I took some pictures and I got some some footage. <laughs> People are pissed. Travis Allen got 30. He didn't win. And it was very disappointing. It was very odd. The gap was so huge. It, it, it didn't make any sense. I think it was a lot of boos. A lot of people saying boo. A lot of people yelling rhino. It was really surprising. It was. I didn't see. I hadn't. Uh, the whole time I was there, standing there watching all this happen, I didn't see the people that as as upset as that as they were right then and there. I'm afraid to give you some because you don't even have much to contribute to this, do you? I mean, you yeah, I know you weren't there. But what do you think of that? What do you, you know who Travis Allen is? Uh, sucks that he didn't win. He didn't win. Thank you for that. Yeah, too bad. Um, what else happened? So, uh, if it looks like, yeah, I know a lot of people haven't seen Kyle Chapman base Stickman in a long time, but he's coming back. You're going to be seeing him making a big comeback to this movement. And I wasn't able to get that quote from him directly. Kyle, how have you been? Okay. But people told me that he is, he is coming back. And there was, I believe on Saturday night, the Travis Allen's um, party at the top of at the top of the high eight, there, while we were there, a bunch of people left and went to claim jumpers. And uh, I know what group that was. I have a pretty good feeling I know what group that was because Lindsay was there and she actually got video footage of some footage of the people who attacked uh, our group at claim jumpers. And she did get one of their faces, so I did post what she posted. I shared it on my Facebook page, and uh, I could actually show it to you right now. This is her. And uh, moving on. You can take the next topic. Oh yeah, I'm 21. Oh yeah, I'm 21. Can you believe that? Yeah, after all this time, you guys thought I was old and shit. Now I'm a, now I'm a, now I'm a full-grown man. Finally. And I can drink alcohol. Legally. This time. <laughs> That's all I got. Sucks he didn't win. Oh, good. He got. He, he made some notes on his hand. Yeah, good job. Way to contribute. <laughs> How many screens do you got in there? This is the last one. Oh. 
enter the screen. That's how you do it. Now, anyways, um, yeah, so this guy, I'm not sure if we mentioned this, so he, yeah, he's got his new car, you probably don't, don't want to mention what your car looks like, because, you know, if it's you, nice looking, they'll, yeah, it's nice looking, you don't want to, they'll want them to find it, and, beautiful car, kick in your doors, and it's, slash uh, your tires, and I got it registered, too, Excellent. So he's got a car. And he's, he's 21. I, the only, probably the only Trump supporter friend I have right now who's somehow, this guy, miraculous. I know it's like, pff, he's got all this shit together. Oh, this guy, of all people. I know. Unbelievable. But yeah, Alex has got all this shit together. Been driving around today. Just hanging out with all my friends. That's what I've been doing lately. I'm not working. I'm just driving around. You know. Seeing who's available, hang out with. We actually planned on doing this video, or I invited him to come over yesterday to do this video. I came out, I came here like hella late. Something like 10.30. I was passed out, man. I was like... Well, sometimes you're awake and... So I know, but I've been, I had all this extra pot when I was hanging out with Angie, or Angela, yesterday. And, um, I didn't know what to do with all this pot, so... Yeah, so I decided to make a video. Is. That is called... Uh, CBD Shark. This is what we have today. Today's feature marijuana is CBD Shark. This is supposed to be very good for you because it's packed full of extra CBD oils instead of the uh, THC oils, which is uh, pretty good actually. I'm really enjoying this. This 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 stuff is fire. Show it to the camera. This is what CBD looks like. Can we pack a bowl in my pipe? That's blurry. Come on, can you get the hell with that? Well, I got an idea. No, we're we're gonna hit out of this thing right now. I got longer arms. Well, it's just it's just showing a blurry in the camera. I mean, it's yeah. You're making stuff drop. All right, just put it back. It's still blurry. You see? Whatever. Um, stick man. No, I already talked about. This is Office Twenty One. Tucker Carlson. Did you guys hear about Tucker Carlson? Tucker Carlson, they're trying to get him to qu to quit his job because of something he said 10 plus years ago. Yeah, that's some bullshit. I'm tough, man. Yep. Times are different. I'm not sure if I ever mentioned this on my channel. Sharks game today. Um, you guys already know that uh, Antifa showed up at Tucker Carlson's house. Where does he live again? He lives in like New York or LA. I don't know where. Antifa showed up at his house and were like chanting outside his house and whatnot. I'm sure you've already heard about that. Uh, I, I, I really do. I'm starting to like this guy even more. The more they attack this person, the more I like him. Uh, he does that enough already for me. Have you seen any of his... You've seen some of his stuff, right? I've seen plenty of his stuff, actually. Have you seen the one about, um, abortion and, like, the abortion clinics? The lady was just, like, she worked there and she was just telling them, like, how remorseful she is because of the, the humor they had. They're like a door lock, and the, it was like two 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 nine because it spelled out baby. Really? Yeah. Wow. Or the the fucking closet where they carried the fucking the fetuses. I did not see. They this. called that the nursery. <laughs> no way. Oh my. That's some pretty dark humor there. It sounds like my kind of humor. Yeah, right. I don't think funny. I've ever really. I don't know. I made I made that one joke, which I didn't like. I don't like joking about abortion. It's a real thing. I don't even like talking about abortion. I know. 
I know. I, when it comes to abortion, I really, really wish, I mean, you guys already know I've told my story. I, I, I really wish it wasn't a political issue. And I have, I, when I really think about it, it kind of makes me wonder, like, how did something like this get thrown into politics? It's, it's unbelievable. And how did it get so broadly divided between left and right? And why is the left champion it like it's some kind of wonderful thing? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, they just want to kill babies. It's getting weird. And it kind of grosses me out, to be honest. That's more of my scarce opinions on abortion. Anyways, what's next? Oh, the wonderful and lovely God-forsaken animal. The friend-eating hamburger. The friend-eating hamburger. <laughs> Casio Cortez. Mm. Let's talk about this one. God, uh, I, I don't know if this is true, but uh, uh, from what I heard, there uh, someone saw her sitting with a friend, and her friend was eating a hamburger, and they took a picture of her. Uh, her and her friend, and she got all pissed off about it. Now, did you know? Did you hear about the comment that she said about Americans? Something along the lines of, maybe Americans need to realize that they shouldn't be eating three hamburgers a day. So, I mean, that just says how out of touch she is with the average American, in my opinion. Now, how little she actually knows about it. Do you eat three hamburgers a day? No. Do you eat one hamburger a day? No. No. Actually, I've... I've I'd like to give a little shout out to this guy called The History Guy. I'm a big fan of history and I love to watch all the best history stuff and I really get deep into this. Now there's a guy on YouTube channel called The History Guy. He doesn't lean any particular way, he just tries to go and make videos about things in history that most people may not have heard about. And uh, on, on one on beef he made a really interesting comment, which is still fact because the video didn't come out that long ago that on average, Americans eat about three hamburgers a week. And that's the way I felt. That's what I thought. The way I, when I first saw this, that's what I said to myself. I said, I probably eat maybe three hamburgers a week. I admit, three hamburgers a day? That's a lot of beef. That's a lot. I don't know. I don't eat three hamburgers a day. And yeah. I'm just trying to bulk up. <laughs> just trying to really trying to bulk up. Yeah, man, if, 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 Hamburgers, if, 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 hamburgers <laughs> were bison, uh, then I would be eating three bison burgers a day if I could. Three hamburgers a day. That's insane. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Damn. What about how Reagan's foundation made... Uh, Speaker. How about, how about the, how about Reagan? How about Ronald Reagan? Ronald Reagan? Yeah. You're thinking about this Reagan. Yeah, that Reagan. Yeah, that's not Ronald Reagan. That would be this other thing. Uh, the company Money. Ooh. Oh, yeah, and also this. The, the, she won't take the train. So, she's, yeah, she's, she's been... She, she's got all these, these ideas, right? All these things that she wants, these big changes that she wants us to do. You know, why can't we just see, push, the, push the capacity of our technologies? We can do it, right? Okay. Um, but think, uh, studies have shown on her, people watching her, they found out that she's not taking the train or the bus, she's taking Uber whenever she can. It's faster if she were to take the train because the traffic in her district is so heavy. So she should be taking the train. But she's not doing that, she would rather take an Uber or Lyft. And not only that, so many other things too. It, it, she's just... It, she is proving that her expectations are even out of whack for her. If these things were so easy, like the way she, she says, we just have to work our butts off. Well, when is she going to start doing that? She keeps repeating that, that we just have to work our butts off. But she's not doing that. And she's not even, she's, she's not even starting. She's just, it's like she's just celebrating the fact that she got into politics. And this whole, oh my God, I want to mention that, this whole, like, I'm the boss, we're in charge, she's becoming a real socialist dictator quick. 
A real experiment for humanity. Please comment on this, son of a bitch. I'm sorry, I can't read your writing. Um... So, for, we'll talk about this in a second. But she said this. She said this in two separate occasions. I'm the boss. We're in charge. She's letting this power go to her head so quick. Who? This is AOC, Ocasio Cortez. Alexandria Ocasio. Are you talking about the girl that. You don't even know who we're talking about. <laughs> Jesus Christ. People that aren't important usually stay under my radar. She's she is very um, relevant right now. Oh. She is relevant, okay? If you're wondering what's relevant, this bitch is relevant, okay? Eminem isn't relevant. <laughs> Dictator, indeed. Speaking of dictators... Uh, North Korea. Yes. North Korea as well. This is another good one. I'm not sure if you show this. Greenpeace co-founder... called her out. That's a good picture, even though I don't think it actually happened, because... this was on Twitter. Called her out on Twitter. What did you find out about North Korea, Mr. Gold? They didn't do anything, actually. They came to no agreement. It was a walkout type of situation. Walkout? What does that mean? They walked out. They didn't want to... They, like, on anything. they were all pissed off and they just stormed out. Like, yeah, fuck you, fuck you. Got up, they got into their. They ran on to Air Force One and they booked it. Fucking just. Right here. <laughs> 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 Let's <laughs> blow <laughs> this joint. Fucking held to the metal. <laughs> <laughs> They're unstable. They're gonna launch. Just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it was a setup. <laughs> Lost three guys. They're dead back there, man. Where's, where's the president? Where's the president? He's behind the wheel. He's flying us. We're going. <laughs> nuke him, nuke him now. Oh my god, that's funny as hell. <laughs> Fucking Trump is like an AK 47. He's just like. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to liberate Korea. <laughs> this is near Korea. This is annoying. <laughs> He's a real American. Anyways, back to the news. What else? So, no, seriously, um, yeah, that's the way it went. How did it really go? Oh, they, they didn't come to any agreement, and uh, yeah, we're, we are where we are. We stay where we are. Are we going to, uh, we're going to war? Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> what time? First thing in the morning. <laughs> Do I need to set my, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Got paid time off. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I'll be going to tell them I can't come into work today. Hi, baby. Can't go to work today because, uh, I'm going to war. Going to North Korea. Going <laughs> to North Korea. Going to war. Here. And also, people under, people over the age of twelve can be now, can now be drafted into the military. That's a new law. Twelve. Yeah. <laughs> oh jeez, we're just. <laughs> let's talk about some facts. Let's go. Let's get back to reality for a second. <laughs> Here you go, Billy. Go <laughs> 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 liberate some countries, Billy. Give them an MP5. <laughs> Hold this gun as hard as you can, because it's going to shake really hard. <laughs> um... I know a lot of people are doing stuff on the 4th of July. I'll be going out to my property. 
and we're going to have a big celebration and shoot off a whole bunch of big fireworks. If you follow me, you can go. If you are Antifa, don't go. If you don't want to have a social event where we are all on the same respectable playing field of emotion, and then happily fuck off. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Shiggle. Shiggle. Yeah. Oh. Oh, hey, baby. Now I have a new friend. Yeah, you see that? You see him right there? Yeah. Get him. Girl. You see the audience? You see the audience over there? You get the audience over there? You get him. You gonna kill the audience? Kill the audience! Thanks for joining us. It's been fun. Until next time, folks. Yeah. So I know. Show. Make America Are great you? again. Yes, that was you. We didn't shake. We didn't shake.